This is Roy Candy, and this is Favorite Game Friday, where we have a group of contributors with completely different tastes in gaming talk about their favorite game in the category of the week. This week is the quintessential Favorite Game Friday because we're talking about your very favorite game. What is your favorite game? Leave it in the comments down below, and let's get to all the contributors' clips. Happy Friday, folks! I'm Mike. And I'm Kay. This week is about our favorite game of all time. Our choice is a deck-building game that will not involve any shuffling. In this game, players will take a role of different mages who will fight against a nemesis. This game is actually four core boxes, two legacy games of which one is still in the fulfillment process from the Kickstarter, and many small expansions. In the past couple of months, we tried different games from our collection and realized that this is still our favorite game of all time. Because in every game, the experience is different because of the different factors like the nemesis, the market, and the players. Our favorite game of all time? Yes, Ian Sand. Happy Friday everyone, I'm Julian. And I'm Libby. And we are from the YouTube channel Boxed Meeples. This week we're talking about what our favorite game is. And um, we've been thinking about that a lot lately because we've just done our top 20 that we've posted up on our YouTube channel. You'll see from that, my favorite is Yado. And my favourite game of all time is Scythe. I've talked a whole bunch about my t top two favourite games on Favourite Game Friday, Seven Wonders and Descent Journeys into the Dark Second Addiction. So I want to talk about my third favourite, Museum. I really love the gorgeous artwork by Vincent Dutre, but the really chill gameplay that has meaningful decisions. Mm -hmm. My favourite game is of all time is Betrayal at House on the Hill. I got into the hobby first as a supportive partner to you, uh, who enjoyed the hobby, but it was mainly your thing that I also enjoyed doing. And Betrayal is the first game where I was like, that! Let's play more of that! I want to play more of that, no matter what we're doing today. And I really enjoy the storytelling. I enjoy that it's new every time and that you really feel like you're in a haunted house! Ah. It's good. What's your favorite game going to be, little one? Yeah! <laughs> Hey everybody, favorite game of all time. Well, my favorite game of all time no, is... No, no, it's not funny, just, no. But, but Grayson, I even wore the shirt. But why do you even have that? <laughs> okay, fine, for real, my, my favorite game is, uh, is always Elder Tor. Um, I just like the adventure of it, and I like the huge grand all, stuff, and I like all the expansions and all the extra stuff that we've bought, and I don't know. I always have a fantastic time playing this, and so far, nothing has replaced it for my number one. Same for me, actually. Good old Machikoro Dulux. Yeah, so you like Machikoro better than like the uh, sequel or the legacy version? Yeah, I also kind of grouped them together just a bit. Okay, that's fine. Um, and also, you like it so much that your mom made uh, a cake mm -hmm. of it for your birthday. <laughs> All right, happy Friday, everybody. Bye! Hello, everyone. Merlin's Manor here for Favorite Game Friday. And I had trouble narrowing mine down to a single game, and so I'm going to give you three games that are my favorite games. And they are Isle of Cats, Gloomhaven, and Terraforming Mars. I love all three of these games equally, and anytime I would love to get them out and play them. Happy Friday, everyone. Hi, guys. It's Favorite Game Friday, and today we're looking at our favorite games of all time. Kids are asleep, so I get to show off their favorite games, too. Let's start with how do you my favorite game of all time, and that is Terraforming Mars. We have every expansion for it. It's a great game. We play it digitally with friends. Fantastic game. For my son, Miles, his favorite game of all time is Junk Art. It's a great stacking game, works well with families, friends, great for, great for a game night. And last but not least, my daughter's favorite game of all time, and oh, it's getting heavy, is Tapestry. We have every expansion for Tapestry and all the upgrades too. She just loves the dice rolling, all the different tracks you can go up. It's a great game. This is probably our number three, Heidi and mine. So you guys all have a great Friday. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, Twice as Nice Dice here. And we're here to show you our favorite game of all time. 
My Our feet. number one. I mean, we have the same. Yeah, Architects of the West Kingdom here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's our favorite game. What do you love about Architects? Well, I like the putting people in prison. I like taking people captive and keeping them in your inventory for a long time. And so, it's really fun. I like the balance of um, going corrupt and becoming virtuous. Yeah. And I like the spin on a worker placement mechanism. Mine. Me too. And maybe Dad's. I can't remember. Maybe it may be. Hero Quest. Oh, yeah. Hero Quest is the best. It's just a simple dungeon crawl with minimal rules. Really easy. It's very easy. Yeah. Now, do you think it's your favorite because you played it as a kid? I yeah, probably. And probably because I was a kid. And so it was easy for me to understand as a child. And so I bought the game and then introduced it to my children. Yeah, I like, I, and I played it as a kid, too. I like it a lot, too. <laughs> All right, bye. bye! Hey, guys, this week's topic is about my favorite game. Ah, I'm sorry, guys. I can't give you that answer because... I just like playing games, so I don't really have one that I can just say, I love this game! So, sorry. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Till next time. Okay. Hi, we're the Hendersons. I'm Daniel. And I'm Deb. And we're here to talk about what our favorite game ever is. Daniel, what's yours? I heard about mine on the Ludology podcast from Ryan Sturm. Thank you. And it is Dominant Species. Invite your friends over in the early afternoon and make sure they can stay all night because this can take a while. But it is fun, a lot of thinking, a little bit of take that. It's a great game with a lot of strategy. Deb, what's yours? My favorite is Space Base. I like it. Well, it's a lot shorter than Dominant Species. But what I really like about it is that you have something to do even when it isn't your turn. And it plays a little differently when you've got two or three people playing versus five or six. Happy gaming. Happy Friday, everybody. Kimberly here with Tabletop Tolson. And the game I want to be stranded on an island with forever is Obsession. <laughs> I love this game. And I think with all the expansions on the solo play, I can play this forever. How about you, Aunt Patty? Well, count me and Kim and Sue. I want to go on that island with you and bring the quacks of Quedlinburg. I love the bag building, press your luck nature. It's so fun. We can have fun together. Assalamu alaikum. My favorite game of all time has been Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated. And you might say that, well, a legacy game cannot stay on your favorite game for all time. But as of now, this is the best experience I ever had. So it's still on top of my list. And of course, the game is fully replayable. After you're done, you will have a customized client game of your own once you're done with the legacy. And the legacy was so much fun that to me, this is still my all time favorite. Happy gaming. Hello everyone. My name is Ben Myers. And today's topic for favorite game Friday is your favorite game of all time. And mine is Wingspan by Elizabeth Hargrave, published by Stonemaier Games. Wingspan is a great game for not only experienced gamers, but also for new gamers as well. It's one that can be taught rather quickly and, and something that you can just uh, start and get to the table pretty quickly. It has a nice uh, swift start pack that makes it easy for new gamers to enjoy it. It's also one that has a wide appeal because of its theme that younger people can enjoy it as well as the older generations as well. And thank you for watching. Ha Happy Friday, everyone. I've called a lot of games favorite over the years, but the one that currently holds that honor is Unmatched. Hi, it's Barb Meeble, PhD, and my favorite game of all time is Dungeon Pets. This is a worker placement style game with a little bit of an auction mechanic and a whole lot of resource management. I love the really cute pets in this game that you bring into your store. You need to take care of all of their various needs like, well, eating and pooping like anything else, but also they might want to play or they get a little bit angry. Uh, we tell little stories about what the pets are doing whenever we're, we're showing them off. Every time we get it out, I'm so happy that we did. And that's Dungeon Pets. 
Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. I want to say that my favorite game is Cartographers. After all, it has pretty colors, a decent solo challenge, the good difficulty level that, you know, is a good challenge for my brain. Um, I always end up with a cool map and a sense of accomplishment because I really cannot usually draw. I'm not artistically inclined. And a great app. It's got a great app for playing on the go or at work when I'm bored. But it's only been my favorite for two or three years. And I don't want to seem like a cult of the new person. So instead, my all-time favorite is... No, you know what? Forget it. We're going with cartographers. Kudos to you. About ten years ago, I bought... Sentinels of the Multiverse Sight Unseen from the Greater Than Games website. Didn't know anything about it, but it was a cooperative superhero game. Sounded so cool. Over the years, um, second edition came out with much better uh, cards and some fixed rules. Um, then a ton of expansions came out. Some foil cards came out that were really nice. If you've ever seen the app for Sentinels of the Multiverse, it's really good. Probably the best way to play solo. And for some of us who bought the crazy Oblivion expansion. They also got the Sentinels of the Multiverse huge box. And I just got notification on my phone that the third edition, which they're calling the definitive edition, is just shipped. So I love Sentinels of the Multiverse. I've followed it for 10 years. It's a great game, a great cooperative super game. If you want to be a superhero, I feel like superhero more in this game than the other game. Sentinels of the Multiverse. That's why I love it. Solo Board Gaming Night here, and one of my favorite games of all time has hands down got to be Adventure Tactics, Damien's Tower. Not only does this game look absolutely stunning on the table, but its RPG mechanics are hands down one of the most engrossing and satisfying that I have played in a very long time. Its multi-use scenario book is used to track enemy damage, set up your scenario, and track enemy behavior as well. It tells you an engrossing story and also rewards you handsomely for successfully completing missions. And this is where Adventure Tactics truly shines. Its leveling up class system is amongst the best leveling up mechanics I have ever played in any board game. I guarantee you, you'll be spending countless hours wondering just how you're going to level up each character. And that's why Adventure Tactics has quickly become one of my favorite board games of all time. It's always awesome to talk about your very favorite game, the game that you enjoy most out of this hobby. Um, we just did our top 100 for the Dice Tower here for the main group there, and they talked about their favorite games. Make sure to check that out as well, but it's been awesome to have everybody here on Favorite Game Friday. Make sure to leave your favorite game of all time in the comments down below. It'll be awesome to see what games people are really, really into. If you want to be a part of Favorite Game Friday, you can check out the Google Drive link down below and join in. All you have to do is send in a super short clip with the topic of the week and you can be a part of Favorite Game Friday and be on the video yourself. So all you have to do for next week is we're going to do puzzle games, games that have puzzles in them or games that are really puzzling to play. Make sure to make a super short video for that and it'd be awesome to have you join us for on Favorite Game Friday next week and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.